Hi, this is Takuma Nakata. I'm an interaction designer based in Kyoto. Today, I'm gonna make a quick tutorial on how I made this one. And it's super easy. I found... Today I was figuring out how we can play with 2D texture and I found this very uh, nice uh, sample patch inside the X11, Direct11, Direct11 pack. So I, used, I basically used that one. Well, let's get started. So this is how the basic patch looks like. Uh, let me bring back this one. And this is the result. And to be honest, I, the basic thing you see here, most of the stuff you see here are based on something that's already inside DX11 pack. So let's figure out where that is. Um, so if you have uh, installed the direct X11 pack, uh, 11 packs, uh, if you haven't installed it, this is definitely something that you should install, even though you're a beginner of uh, VVVV, I think direct 11, direct 11 node is something that you definitely need. So if you haven't installed, I'll put the link below. So this is where you download it and uh, just click this or this one, it depends on which version you use. Just install it and put it in the packs folder. Once you're done installing it, this is how it should look like, packs. And then inside packs, you should see DirectX 11. And inside here, well, there's Gurupal. If you look inside here, there's a lot of uh, sample patch so you can learn from here the one that I used in, in, is inside nodes modules and distance field if you open this up this is what you should see and this is already quite cool but if you click this shore normals you should see this and this is basically what I used so what I did is, uh, so I remove, I, so let's remove this one. And uh, I also don't need frame delay. I only need preview. So this one, to normal, put it back, make this bigger. What I basically did is I just put something here. So now it's a texture, 2D texture. But instead of that, here I put the patch that we made with the previous uh, tutorial. Should be, um, should be on the drop box. Side project before. And animation should be this one. Yeah, so if you followed my previous tutorial, you should uh, understand what this is. I just put a fong directional and output the geometry. So I already see something. I put a camera. Then I just plug camera here and move the y axis a little bit. For some reason, this guy's stupid fast. And I don't know why. Okay, now I know what it is. Uh -oh. I'll just change this one and uh, let this output. I'll make this a second. Or maybe I'll just change the animation to something else. Now it's the dancing one. But inside acid, I have something else downloaded. I'll just put this one. And now, basically, what I had in my Instagram is already here. So what I did is uh, it's really well done. You just have to play with this. Uh, what I did is I played a little bit with the threshold and then the blur because I think now the blur is okay. Connected these. Um, I also remember that I played with levels to change the colors. 
format I didn't change normal map I didn't change ah, what did I change distance threshold yes blur yes what else did I change add resize mode land oh yeah I remember that I, I put something how did I let the edge come out distance clear well when you when you get lost just just follow step by step each texture effects and see what's happening in between and that's what's handy about preview okay change the level because I have to put something No, let, let, let me just do something else. I forgot what I did, so uh, HSCV, this oh, SCCV, this one, I, I use this one to change the color, to make it more colorful, like the color that I want. So I did this, and then I did change this one, control the color. So if you add LFO, make this five second, put it in the hue, you can kind of like play with the colors. And then I also used a uh, blend to, and I think I took it from the threshold. It should be one of these. And then just add it here. Subtract, no. Uh, screen, yeah. Okay, so I have to play with threshold or blur because this is not the shape that I want. Okay, now it looks a bit similar to the one that I had in the tutorial. Less threshold, less blur. Okay, this looks kind of fancy. Let's just change the resolution. Uh, I think I should connect this guy to somewhere else because one of them actually has had a resolution. I think it was this one. Okay, yeah, now it looks cleaner. Yeah, so this is basically what I did for this one. And I'm hoping that I would play more with this because I just found it. I just plugged in play uh, the sample patch from distance field. And I wouldn't call this as my work. But I mean, if I start playing with this, I hope I can reach somewhere. And the cool thing with this is that if you connect uh, different stuff like cubes and add some rotate on it, you can have different kind of like cherry already. Oh, this looks nice. More. Yeah, so I think there's quite a lot you can do with this, and I haven't really played much with this effect. I guess there's a lot of things I can do. So, yeah. That was it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.